Hi Aquarius, welcome to your monthly reading. Guys, um, it is March, but I do trust that if you're here, there's probably a message for you, okay? Even if it's not March, even if it's whatever day, whatever date. So we're in Pisces season. I don't know if you guys have been feeling the energies. They're quite magical. I know that's cliche to say. We know that Pisces deals with magic, but really though, if you just like give up resistance, and like enjoy the sale is smooth it is it is really smooth or smoother at least that I can guarantee you okay so I think today Saturn's entering Pisces so for those of you that didn't like the energy you know you felt like Pisces is a little bit not for you because you're maybe a Capricorn there you go or you're a Virgo or you know an air sign because Mercury's in uh in, in, a, in Pisces too Mercury doesn't like Pisces because Pisces is confusing Mercury wants things to be clear and concise you know and square and Pisces likes stuff around wavy just flowy you know Okay, so let's see. Let's get into the Star Seeds Oracle. Guys, um, I do want to suggest, I don't know why, I think it's very important these, the, in, at this time right now, this period at least, moving forward, that you check, always check your moon and your rising too, guys. Your sun, all three, your sun, your moon, and your rising. Because um, I feel like by doing that, you get a full picture. Or clarity, more clarity, right? It's almost like we were looking at it from a bird's eye look, a bird's eye view and you have the elements in front of you right when you because it's like it's getting clearer imagine you get one element and then you're here right it's right in your face then as you start seeing the other elements you it's almost like you're pushed back and you get a clearer vision see that's the kind this is the kind of analogy i've been making that makes like it makes sense i hope it makes sense to you because I, I really think I'm explaining it like I feel it, you know? And it's just not usually how I function. <laughs> so it's interesting. It definitely is deep, I can tell you that much. I feel like I'm floating sometimes and sometimes I feel like there's extreme clarity. And, and, and harmony and balance. Okay, let's see. Oh, and the full moon's coming up in Virgo, guys. So that's going to bring a little structure. Saturn is going to is bringing today a little structure as well. So for those, my air signs, my air signs are going to be able to be like, okay, at least this is familiar. You know, we're getting somewhere, <laughs> right? Yeah, Saturn's going to come in. It's going to, it's almost like Saturn's making you choose. Okay, it's like almost like, okay, now it's time to get serious now. Okay, you've been floating, you've been brainstorming, you've been on the board. Like, what are you proposing now? <laughs> what what are we what are we tackling here? Because it's the last sign, and then we're getting into Aries, which is the magician. It's the baby, it's the rebirth, it's also spring equinox, it's you know, it's everything, guys. It's it's the beginning. It's a new beginning, a new cycle. So you have lost lands, uh, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. So it says what it says. And then you have protection, call back your power, cut the course, soul retrieval. So some of you are, I feel like you're a little bit too exposed. What does that mean though, spirit? It's almost like a reminder. See, it says uh, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. And then it says call back your power. Cut the course, soul retrieval. I feel like you've done this before, whatever this is. It's almost like you have a power that you, you're not aware of or a knowledge you're not aware of. That is part of you that is like in your DNA. Whatever it is, you know, something you've done, you mastered it. You nine of pentacles it, you know what I mean? 
or at least you, you, you're in the between eight pentacles and nine of pentacles, right? If you just make that switch, you can become the nine of pentacles. Independent, fierce, uh, self-made, uh, prosperous, abundant, strong, right? Okay. Let's get a, let's get a tarot card. These are the um, ancient path tarot. I love these cards. All right. Aquarius, you're definitely um, somewhere where you're not supposed to be, around people you're not supposed to be. Oof. Because this is coming for you, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, a new um, baby, I heard. For some of you or the baby could be a new project something that's gonna make you very happy something you're gonna be proud of people are gonna be proud of you at least you don't even care because you feel so good but the people it'll make it will enable you actually to see who's who remember cut the cords the people that are happy for you genuinely happy for you yeah you should keep the people that are not we need to do something about it Because this is a new emotionally fulfilling uh, journey cycle that is starting for you, Aquarius. And that has to do with love, passion, and creativity. So with this, like, cut the course, you know, cut back your power. And you hear you're surrounded by people. You're, like, dancing in the middle, you know, people are looking at you. It's a nine of cups, but it's giving also like, you know, six of wands vibes, right? And so you're gonna definitely be propelled in the public eye. So it's almost like the more you're exposed, the more you get enemies. And hey, you know, enemies, haters, whatever, people that don't want to see you succeed. Some of you are definitely entertainers. You have that thing of, of entertainment, of being the show. Like you are the show. You know? I feel like you've done this lifetimes before in some form, shape, you know, shape or form. Being that six of wands kind of vibes. You you carry that. You're a winner. Soul memories and gifts. Nine of Cups. Start, nur start nurturing your dreams, I heard. Start nurturing your dreams. Okay. Deep, 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 deep. Just how we like it. All right. More tarot here. Clarify, please, spirit. There's a lot of cards here. All right, let's clarify these two cards here, the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Okay, that was quick. Spirit. Three of Cups reversed. Yeah, some people are gossiping about you behind your back. Some people you're not going to party with anymore. I, uh, when, by party, I mean celebrate. They're going to fall out. That's so interesting. Look at that. Wow. Look at this. I don't know if you see it. See how these cups are up and these are down? It's a fallout. It's a fallout. It's a breakup. It's the end. It's because you guys are not vibrating on the same level anymore. You're about to get into your gifts here. Soul memories and gifts. So it's like, I feel like every time we acquire 
a spiritual knowledge or, or yeah, it's a knowledge, spiritual knowledge, you know, it's almost like we graduate. I guess that's like, the, that, that's what cycles are. And then you, you graduate, right? But then when you graduate, it's almost like, let's just, I, this is a beautiful picture. Oh my God, this is so Piscean. A thing I saw in my mind just now is beautiful. It's almost like they sprinkle you with, uh, with, with gold dust. So you shine. You stand out even more. And your vibration, I mean, is off, you know, it is up one notch here. And these people, you just don't vibrate with them anymore. Yeah. You're on a whole nother cycle of winning. Wheel of fortune. These people can't come. They didn't earn it. Spiritually. They're not. This is for the graduates. You know? The ones that graduated. They failed. So definitely they can't come on this new journey. Wow, that's a lot. You have the Queen of Cups. And you have the King of Wands. Reversed. Both reversed. They're going to find you very cold. And detached. But it's a choice you have to make. I feel like some of you haven't made that choice yet. You, or you don't you, you did, but it's the beginning. You're starting to realize that these people or this person it's the end. And you've been trying to tell yourself stories like, no, no, this and that. It's not even I feel codependency. Codepend sorry, codependency. No, it's just Complacency more like it, you know? Comfortability. But there's a choice you have to make here. Who are you going to choose? You with them and how you are with them? Are you happy with them? Do they excite you? These people, if it's the, uh, like a group, three of cups, do they uplift you? Are they always there for you? Genuinely though, you gotta really open your eyes and start looking who's around you. Call back your power, <laughs> cut the cords. Some of you know, some of you are ignoring. Some of you are completely obliv oblivious. Either way, it's time to cut the cords. And yes, you're gonna have to be cold. You're gonna have to like let your emotions aside. Uh, let your pride aside as well it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be hard because you're gonna have to let your emotions aside and you're gonna have to it's gonna have to be sharp emotionless adamant you know like pff, it's violent mm. it's gonna have to be emotionless and also, this is giving me who you're going to choose. Are you going to choose yourself? Or are you going to, like, are you going to choose them? Or yourself? Knowing that you are embarking on something totally, a whole different cycle than these people. And I know you feel it. You must have felt it. They can't come. They just can't. Okay. I mean, literally, this is it. It's so mean, girly, I know, but it's true. They can't come. They can't. Okay, let's see with the um, Keepers of the Light. Spiritual on a spiritual level, what is the evolution for you guys, Aquarius? Hmm. 
Intervention and purpose. Yeah, you're embarking on something like really, really serious here. A big deal. And guys, it's, it, this is like 3D here I'm talking about. Something that's going to change your life. It's going to change the the way you look at the universe. It's going to change the way you communicate. You connect. It's almost like a revelation, you know? So it says divine director, intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is a curing, which is you dropping these people. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Ace of cups, nine of cups. These people, they're not there. I'm sorry. Some of them, they're not even mean, but it's just like they're weighing you down. They're depressed. You can't help them. You know, when some people, it's like they you've done everything. You've been there, but it's just that thing where they have to go through, there's not much you, more you can do kind of energy. And I guess that's the spiritual awakening. You know, you can't force somebody's spiritual awakening or like that, an awakening or of some sort of like, yo, look, you know, or something, whatever they're going through. It happens to everybody, I know, but it's that break, you know, it, it's, it's personal. Something triggers it, of course, but I don't think... It's just one person or a group of people. It's it's internal. It's a realization that triggers it. So anyway, yeah, these, these are the Piscean readings. I'm telling you, I, I'm, I've been like, whoa, downloading like crazy. And <clears throat> it's true. And maybe some of them are not mean, but that's what's going on. They're at a point where you can't help them anymore. It's always the same story. It's like you've done everything. Now it's up to them. You know? You held a space for them and everything. That's the thing, too. Also, it could be those kind of people in your life. Um, then you have Kutumi, Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. You already know the answers you seek. You've done this before. Right? Some of you, you might have separated from these people, but then just the bond is so strong, you came back. So here we go again. This time is for good, though, because the wheel is turning in your favor here, guys. Wheel of Fortune, you have a choice to make. Or maybe they're the ones that are like this, completely emotionless, destructive. That could be it. You have to choose. Your future, your fortune, your growth. So many good things coming to you. Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups. We don't know what, but it's amazing. Spirit is asking you to protect yourself. Because it's big. It's huge. It's huge. And these people, they are just not there. They're not there. They're not there. Okay. They can't come. I keep hearing that. So mean, girl. All right. Adam Spirit and Sacred Destiny. Huh. Here we go again. Reclaim your power. Call back your power. Cut the cords. They can't come. All right. We got it, Spirit. They can't come. Fine. Three cards. Oh, my. I thought there were two. Hold on. Oh, guys, this is my Virgo moon, okay? And what? The Virgo moon is on the ninth. So, yeah, I am feeling it. <laughs> Can't you tell? Adventures. Yeah, that's the Wheel of Fortune, guys. You're going on another cycle here. It's your own cycle. They... Listen, it happens. It's life. People drift apart. I feel like you guys have drifted. It's been drifting. 
But now it's like, it's comical. It's, it's just not sincere, you know? Robotic, diligence, working hard, being dedicated, invested. Healing chaos. Reclaim your power. Yeah, I feel like these people are very chaotic. Healing chaos. And the diligence card, you've been there for this. I said, you. I told you, you've done everything for this person or these people. You've been diligent towards healing, not healing them, but holding, holding space for them, like I said, right? Pouring in their cup. Now it's time for spirit and, and you know, to, to, to pour into you and you to pour into yourself. You see? To reclaim your power. You need to cut those cords for it first. To reclaim your power. Twice we got that. Call back your power. Reclaim your power. Panther spirit and protection. Because you're 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 on you're about to go on something a whole different trajectory. But I feel like the condition, the condition, right? At the, at the only condition that you drop these people. It's an energetic swap. That's crazy. Wheel of Fortune. It's an energetic. We release the negative and we recharge with new. It's very mechanical, very Aquarian. It's very. Um, you know, about energy here. But it, it is also 3D. But it's very mechanical, like I said. You know, like I said, you're gonna have to be cold and da da da. It's it's but it's just um it's sharp, it's violent, it's abrupt, you know. That's that's what they're asking you to do. I told you you're gonna have to be detached. You're gonna have to really decide truly truly to not to or at least if you don't detach stop uh enabling this these people or th this person that's the thing you're gonna have to be like really like okay listen you're gonna have to speak your truth because i feel like you've been holding back not to hurt th this person or these people's feelings some of you this is somebody that works for you that you like but that you have a better person to replace this person or they're just not doing their job as they should could be that just came through um yeah you see what i'm saying this could be for you some of you this is a little sister that's coming through little older sister Or brother but I'm feeling that feminine energy um, okay guys Wow loved it I hope you guys did too um, if you did well go ahead and subscribe come back and see me um, like the video and go check out my Etsy shop everything is below in the description box and I'll see you next time guys don't forget to go watch all your your three signs of your three signs okay at least those three uh so your sun your moon and your rising very very important trust me okay have a lovely day bye Aquarius.